Hi, and welcome back to Scratch. Today we're going to make some cinnamon rolls. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and share this recipe. For the dough, we'll need one and a half teaspoons active dry yeast, a half cup of half and half or whole milk, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of butter, a half teaspoon of salt, one egg, and two cups of flour. For the filling, we will need a half cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of butter, and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And finally, for the icing, we'll need three tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of cream cheese, one cup of powdered sugar, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. First, we'll take our half cup of half and half, or whole milk, and place it in the microwave for 20 seconds to warm it up. Next, we'll use a teaspoon of our quarter cup of sugar for the dough, and stir it into our warm milk, and add our one and a half teaspoons of active yeast, and let this proof for about five to 10 minutes. We've allowed the yeast to proof for 10 minutes. So now we're gonna add our egg, the remainder of our quarter cup of sugar, our half teaspoon salt, and we've melted our quarter cup of butter. We'll mix our wet ingredients together, and then we'll mix in our two cups of flour and stir until a sticky dough forms. Once we have a sticky dough, we'll start to knead it with our hands until the dough becomes smooth and elastic. This should take about five minutes. We've been kneading the dough for about five minutes. It's starting to get a nice satin finish. So we're gonna spray the bowl with cooking spray and then we'll also spray the dough to keep it from sticking as it rises. Then we'll cover it and allow it to rise for approximately two hours or until it has doubled in bulk. While we're waiting on the dough to rise, we'll go ahead and get started on the filling. We'll take a half cup of brown sugar and mix it with two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. You can either whisk this together or mix it with a fork. It's been two hours since we've let the dough start to rise, so now we're gonna punch it down a little bit, and then we're gonna spray it with a little bit of additional oil to prevent it from sticking to our work surface. And we'll roll this out until it's about an eighth to a quarter of an inch thick, shaping it as we go. Once we've rolled and shaped our dough, we're gonna brush this with some softened butter, reserving one tablespoon to use later to brush on the cinnamon rolls. Once we've brushed our dough with butter, we'll sprinkle our brown sugar and cinnamon mixture onto the dough. Once we've sprinkled on our filling, we'll push it in to help it stick. Then after washing our hands, take the long end of the dough and slowly roll this into a log shape. You'll notice we left one edge uncovered with filling so the dough would stick to itself. Once we've rolled the dough into a log shape, we'll cut it into approximately one inch pieces. After rolling our cinnamon roll into a log, we're going to grease a 9 by 13 inch pan and cut the cinnamon rolls using dental floss. This prevents your cinnamon rolls from getting squished by the knife. Just bring it under to about an inch and cinch each roll. We'll then cover these with a kitchen towel and allow them to rise for 30 more minutes while we preheat our oven to 350 degrees. It's been a half hour and our cinnamon rolls have risen just a little bit and we are now ready to put these in the oven. We're going to put these in the oven first for 20 minutes before basting them with melted butter. Now we'll go ahead and melt our reserved tablespoon of butter. It's been 20 minutes, so we're gonna temporarily remove our cinnamon rolls from the oven, and then we'll baste them with some melted butter. After basting, we'll return these to the oven for an additional 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Now, the cinnamon rolls look done, they look good, and we're gonna allow these to cool while we get started on the icing. For this next part, I highly recommend a stand or a hand mixer. We're gonna put in our three tablespoons of room temperature softened butter, a quarter cup of room temperature softened cream cheese, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then we'll get our mixer started and add our one cup of powdered sugar, a third cup at a time. Once our icing is finished, we'll ice our cinnamon buns. When the icing's finished, we'll apply a generous amount of icing onto each cinnamon roll. And remember, if you like the content, please subscribe. 